myself C A Shubhampalan, and I'll be guiding you for this entire course on resume building. And this course will be covering end-to-end -end discussion about resume building. What are the things you are supposed to keep in mind when you are building a resume? What are the common mistakes which each and every student does when he or she makes a resume? And what are the things you are supposed to keep in mind when you are sending a resume? Now, before I explain you each and every things, let me tell you that resume is going to be the first step. It's going to be the first step whenever you are applying to any of the companies. So, resume is considered to be the first step. And I generally say to each and every student that resume should be the first and should be a long lasting impression whenever you are sending to any of the organization. Now, before I move into that, you should be also aware that whatever things you will be including in the resume, it's going to be forming a base for a lot of things around. It's going to be forming a base for your LinkedIn profile. It's going to be forming a base for your video resume. It's going to be forming a base for the other profiles or other sections which you're going to be making or including in your profile. So it's very, very important that you devote a proper time to your resume whenever you are making it. Now, many a times a students or a people get confused how you're supposed to make a resume or what are the things you're supposed to keep in mind. So what is a winning combination whenever you are sending a resume to someone? A good resume with a bad cover letter with a bad event will land you nowhere. A good resume with a good cover letter with a bad email will gonna be not leading you to anywhere. For winning combination to get a selection probability higher, you need a good resume with a good cover letter and with a good. Don't worry, in this section we are gonna be covering each and everything in detail about how you're supposed to make a cover letter, how you're supposed to make a resume, and how you're supposed to craft an email and what all things you are supposed to include whenever you are making all such. I mean to say that if the combination of all these three is together, there is a definite chances that your selection probability is going to be. So you need to keep in mind whenever you are sending a resume to someone, a good resume with a good cover letter, with a good email is going to be helping you out to increase the chances of selection in a job list. Now, very, very important step. It's a first impression. It's a first impression. So many a times, many of the organizations or many of the companies try to do what, try to do screening based on the resume and the cover letter. So it's very, very important for you to keep in mind whenever you are making a resume or sending a resume to a company, it should be a combination of a good email, good cover letter and a good resume. Now, many of you have been also applying in the ICI campus or institute campus as well, right? Let me just tell you in an institute campus, whenever you apply it, you're not supposed to submit a resume. You're not supposed to submit a resume. You will be given some form around and based on form, you are supposed to fill up your details. After that, after that, if a company wants, they again send you some Google forms or they'll send you some forms or some details or some links where you submit the details around. Plus also you submit, you are supposed to submit the resume. So it's very, very important for you to know that Institute campus doesn't require a resume, but if you want to apply off campus or if you are hunting a jobs in other places, resume building and cover letter and a good email is going to be definitely going to be there. 